Greetings and welcome, my minions, to another episode of Let's Play Dungeons 3. Right, I think we're just about poised to go outside. I mean, most of the things I want have been researched. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's get the vault doors, though. That'll make things a little bit easier. There are enemies in your dungeon. Oh, and I will need the crusher traps, of course. Payday. Hey, you may want to steal as much gold as you can, but that doesn't mean you're going to succeed. Let's get a heavy hitter in there. And another healer. Alright. Comes from above! Alright. What was I doing? Some simple spells that I want. Well, let's get the mana shield. But that's not what I was looking at. I was trying to get something else. Alright, the Nagas. I kind of want to have the healing hands, but I can get that later. Let's just focus on getting all the uh, enemy camps out of the way. And I get more evil anyway, so it shouldn't matter too much. Alright, I think we're just about as ready as we're gonna be. Let's just go, everybody gets paid. So that's dealt with. Let's kill these mangy animals. All right, there's some centaurs. Centaur had lost one of its toenails. Puffs. <laughs> but it was exactly what the absolutely no regrets whatsoever evil needed for the hellhole. There are enemies in your dungeon. Oh, then what? Can they just wait for a moment? I'm on a roll here. Alright, there's just more heroes near a gravesite. Good to know, but I kind of want this place. camp has been destroyed excellent work so now let's do it again all the poor souls who have to die because of my failure and my lack of willpower it's so sad ha 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 plunder burn kill Alright. This can all start going on. Uh, 
Uh, let's get the increased the rack storage. Let's make the iron a bit better and improve the healing hands. Right, that should speed things along a little bit. Right, they only got five toenails, so we need to find more centaurs. It's probably over there. Hmm. Eh, they're not feeling like attacking the main camp is the most bestest idea I've ever had, but I may have no choice if I want to get the rest of the corpse dust, unless I can get enough here, but... Uh, I somehow doubt it very much. Well, let's get the toenails first, though. How many can be stored here? Plenty, so... Let's make sure that that keeps happening. Get more snots, and that's make them too pitiful for the enemy to attack. Right. Let's get more skeletons. All right. Looks like we got everything decently in order. Let's store more goblers. Let's see, I am at. I've got three more. There are enemies in your dungeon. So there are, but um, this is all not ready yet. Old vein has been depleted. Well, in that case, we can just remove this room. Can't break through full doors that easily. There are enemies in your dungeon. Let's not be the first one. My guy's stunned, I think. I'm not free fighting in an optimal location. Right, in the meantime, let's keep uh, getting things going. I want more compressed research. Right, that is all fine. Right. Nobody is seriously injured except for some, some skeletons. 
give that a little bit of a helping hand by buffing the room. Search anything else until the compression research is finished. That is fine. Also, this bothers me to no end, so let's get that out of the way. That's uh, not how you fire demons, by the way. They will just simply have to remake their beds, which they will do in a very sensible manner. Right. Everybody is set. Then we are go. This way. The last of the toenails and then we'll start looking for some corpse dust. Should be easy enough. I mean, we've got time. I mean, Thanos isn't anywhere near us, so... Getting Yena proud more. Overproud. is probably... Easy. As pie. Hmm, just bears. Where's the... Ah, oh, they're further on. Alright. This is just the gatekeepers. Well, at least we can have a quick glimpse for the town, I suppose. The far-sighted evil had discovered a modest little centaur camp. Like any good nature-loving being, the horrible evil immediately wanted to convert this area into a nature reserve. Of course, that meant that everything that was in the way had to go. <laughs> Oh, those poor centaurs. Unfortunately, they had to die for the good of the greater evil. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure that makes logical sense, but sure, narrator, sure. Let's get the hooves, the, the toenails, and just throw the them in. The first centaur toenails disappeared into the hellhole. A short neigh could be heard. I don't really want to know what the demons do with those. And another load of centaur toenails have been collected. It was done. The last unicorn, I mean the last centaur, had lost its toenail, which the eager evil quickly sacrificed to the hellhole. As it did so, it realized that every centaur actually had four of the stupid things. Naturally, that would have made the job just a bit easier. But hey. Outstanding intelligence was never an employment criterion for evil arch-villains. Either way, the goal had been achieved. The fabulous evil's armies had reached the city. Yaina, however, was long gone. Then I suppose I'll just have to take it out on the inhabitants. Forward! Oh, haven't you plunged enough cities into ruin? Is that a trick question? I'll admit I could have saved myself the question. You monster! Thanks! All right, we can deal with that later. Let's deal with this little enclave first. Don't. Oh, All right, there's a grave over there. See what we can get from that. The exploratory evil had discovered a sweet little graveyard. Would it be able to find some of the corpse dust it needed here? As a really, really broad hint, the savvy narrator pointed out to the perplexed evil that the graves in the graveyard might just need a hearty smack or nudge to release the valuable corpse dust. Just stop that.
Knights. Alright, that's about as much storage space as I'm gonna get out of this. Right, and this is a book of Alma Bowden's Epic. Well, you can have that then. Yeah. But we need way more corpse dust, and we can only get that if we go through the city. So let's go through the city. Not seeing any defensive towers. Well, so far so good. Sadly, one of the hero's mighty champions lived in the city. Ronin, whose cliché-soaked name we stole one-to-one -one from another universe, had retired here and was anything but pleased to see evil creatures. However, whoever put that sanctimonious do-gooders lights out permanently was sure to be richly rewarded. Reward or not, it'll be fun. Come on, fight! The great champion Ronin hit the floor. The radiant with happiness evil was extremely pleased. At the same time, this anti-heroic act was generously rewarded. Leech life. Mm. Another city destroyed. You're so evil and cruel. Thanks, that's really nice of you. I despise you. Ah, careful now. Hate leads to the dark side. <laughs> the strategically brilliant evil had eliminated all the dangers and made the dungeon a fairly safe place. Summoning the pit fiend should now be child's play. Well, let's hope that's true then. Another graveyard. Excellent. Here we should be able to find the rest of the corpse dust. Get a move on, people! Loot those graves! Oh, my toenails are curling! Looting graves? How repulsive! Yeah, yeah, go share your moral outrage with someone who cares. The graveyard's ludicrous guards had been retired. Good thing for the grave digger, who didn't have to go far this time. Darn. Oh well. Old. Still, please. It's payday. Got a small delivery. deal with these intruders wherever they came from probably from somewhere offside the map because I did kill everything By the way, I forgot to mention this, of course, uh, but building the dungeon uh, will allow my undead creatures to level up to level 5, which is why they are now able to go beyond level 3. A minor thing, but it is a thing. Alright, let's sacrifice the corpse dust. The first corpse dust was sacrificed. It was done. All of the required corpse dust had been sacrificed to the hellhole. The master this task evil patted itself on the back. 
right before it remembered the spiked metal gloves. Ouch. Finally, it was done. The last ingredient had been thrown into the hellhole. The victorious evil patted itself on the back in triumph. The hellhole began to bubble and make fart noises. Something in the middle whirled wildly while it slowly grew. The sound that caused it could be seen as a demonic litany, but upon listening closer, one recognized a joyful hooey. It was the pit fiend who now emerged from the whirlpool with a wild laugh. Laugh. Oh, do I do that? Okay. <laughs> Prince of Darkness, obey my orders. And, of course, those of the absolute evil. You, mighty pit fiend, cruelest of the cruel. His name is Crowley. Uh, I beg your pardon? It says here in the script the pit fiend's name is Crowley. Not that it's important since he doesn't speak, but I just wanted to mention it. All right, Crowley. You, Crowley, will help us defeat Yaina Overproud. We will transform this world into an image of hell! <laughs> Daughter, try to defeat your evilness. I still haven't given up on you. Fight it! Use all your willpower. Oh, Father, I'm still here. I'm trying. Well, now and then, at least. But my evil self won't let me talk about it. It refuses to hear my arguments, and it doesn't care what you say. <sighs> How often do I have to tell you? The pit fiend Crowley listened to Talia's inner quarrel and grumbled at Thanos' words. Non-residents of hell were so annoying. Thanos disappeared after the evil Talia's rant and tirade of insults. She then turned to Crowley. Come, pit fiend! I mean Crowley! Let's get that accursed magician! Yaina Overproud! Your days are numbered. Indeed. But we'll see about that next time. Hello, we'll listen to the intro. The Storming of Doloran. Now that the Leprous Evil had won the Pit Fiend as an ally, it began preparations for the Storming of Doloran. It was time for Yaina Overproud to die. We'll do that next time, though. Thank you for watching.